Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia, and today I'm going to talk to you about the quantize command in Pro Tools. So what this command does is it lets you achieve a particular rhythmic feel, whether you're in time and you just want to change that a little bit, or your, your feel is out of time and you need to correct it to make it sound like it's on the beat and in time. We find the quantize dialog in the event dropdown, then go to event operations, and you just hit quantize. So let's talk about this window. Uh, first of all, what we're going to quantize, we have to determine that. The choices we have are note on, note off, and preserve note duration. Usually you're going to use note on because that's the start points and that's typically what you most likely want to quantize. You can also do note off. In this way, the MIDI note endpoints are going to be quantized. So if you held a note too long, you can fix that. When preserve note duration is selected, MIDI note durations are preserved. Notice if I hit note off, Preserve note duration is blanked out because it's kind of irrelevant. It doesn't really do anything when you're already determining that you're quantizing the note on and off. Then we have our quantize grid pop-up menu. This determines the resolution that you're going to be quantizing to. You can go from whole notes all the way to 64th notes. You can also do dotted or triplet type notes. Now below that, we have the tuplet option. And what this does is lets you quantize according to irregular note grouping. So if Maybe you have four beats in the time of three or five beats in the time of four. When you choose tuplets, it's calculated by these types of note lengths and tuplet values. Offset grid. This lets you offset the quantized grid forward or back in time by a specified number of ticks. That's the smallest unit of measurement, by the way, for MIDI in Pro Tools. You're going to use this option if you want to achieve a pushed feel using positive values or a laid back feel using negative values. Then we have randomize. And what this does is MIDI notes are moved randomly forward or back in time after the quantizing occurs. So for example, if you set your grid to eighth notes and randomize to 50%, notes and events are placed up to a 30 second note before or after a beat boundary. And this also affects note durations. When you choose swing, every other grid boundary is shifted by a specific percentage to achieve a certain feel. So if you do zero, you're going to have no swing, while 100 is going to give you like sort of a triplet feel. Um, anyone who does jazz or blues music would understand what this means, means you're kind of a little behind the beat. You're not keeping it exactly on the beat, you're keeping a little bit of a rhythmic feel. Now the next ones, include within. This actually lets you determine that certain notes are going to be quantized only if they're located within a specific percentage of the quantized grid. So in other words, you can use this to clean up downbeats without affecting notes that are swung or off beat. Exclude within is a little bit different. This determines what will not be quantized. As long as it's not located within a specific percentage of the quantized grid, Pro Tools will not quantize it. This helps preserve the feel of events that are close to the beat while correcting others that are drastically far off the beat. And then the last one down here, strength. What this lets you determine is maybe you want to keep some of the feel that you had. So you want to maybe turn it down to, you know, 85% or 70% to kind of keep some of the feel you had while still quantizing. A couple of applications here. Regular quantize, you're just going to leave strength off, leave swing off, and just simply hit quantize. As you can see, all the notes moved around to be on the beat. If you want to preserve the original feel, you can set the exclude within to be, you know, 10, 10 to 15 percent. So anything that is more out of time than that is going to be quantized and put in time. You can also use the strength to keep it a nice humanized feel. If you want to quantize with swing, you're simply going to move your slider around. As you can see, some of the notes are moving. Also, if your quantize events sound a little too mechanical or on the beat, you can use the randomize function to make them sound a little more natural. Typically, to humanize the feel, you would perhaps use randomize with a value of about 5%. So these are just some tips and techniques for getting the most out of Quantize in Pro Tools. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Jeff from Obedia. Thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.